Who are LinkedIn's top video creators? We should tell you. Let me do this. So today we're talking about top video creators on LinkedIn. I think LinkedIn is going to be a really up and coming place for video content creators. And we're going to be here today to talk about who are some inspirational people that you can look to if you are going to start joining the movement of LinkedIn video. I'm excited, man. It's going to be good. It's going to be really good. It's going to be really good. So, who's your number one? My number one is probably gonna be Kurt. I think it's the, the beard, the brand recognition. You watch a video, he's smiling, his messages are always good. You know, he's done anti-cancer things, he's done things like that, that every time you watch a video of Kurt, you leave it feeling inspired. I think that it's very high quality. He has an amazing community behind him. His brand awareness with his beard, which I believe you mentioned you told him not to shave on purpose. And his wife, man. And his wife. It's just top notch. And I think that that's, that's a really good place to start because you can make the, the worst quality videos in the world, but if your message is still good, you will still have people flocking to your content. And he spends a lot of time on his videos, right? He really does, and you can tell, and it shows in every video that he produces. I would say number two is going to be Goldie Chan. So I, she is one of the reasons why I started creating on LinkedIn. She's one of the reasons that a lot of people started creating on LinkedIn. And she's got the, she's got the brand awareness, she's got the green Same hair, thing, right? Green hair. Goldie Chan. Yeah, and people. she's consistent. She's one of, I think, yeah. There's you and then there's Goldie. And those, I think that's the only two daily, daily creators. There really aren't a lot of us. So daily, daily is a good point because a lot of people have their pros and cons about whether they think it's a good thing or I think it's a bad thing. I think, you know, the conversation in my mind becomes more better. Yeah. And, and for both Goldie and I, I don't like talking about myself in this, in this situation, but like, we, you know, we found a, a consistent pattern that works. We found a yep. system that works. You know, I go in and I, I record it, I can edit it, I have my intro, I have my outro, I have my graphics, I can be completely done with the video, ready to put on YouTube to get my subtitles in a half hour. And, and I both think of that, you are constantly top of mind. Right. We're creating every single day. Right. And, and it's good quality content, and, and we have messages. I have a notebook full of things. I'm sure she's got tons of notepads full of things, and, and it's, it's a very possible thing that if you can do more better, you should definitely do it. Yeah. Number three, who we got? Go ahead, Helpina. Helpina Trip, yeah, man. Helpina's trip is on, her engagement is on par with Unbelievable. With an influencer that has like 500K followers, which is ridiculous. And she's constantly bringing value. All of her videos are how to create better videos. And she yeah. kills it on YouTube, yeah. kills it yeah. on Instagram, kills it on yeah. LinkedIn, Fokina yeah. Trip. And, and the beautiful thing about that is value. Now, a lot of the, the people that we're going to mention here are all different sorts of qualities and also it's different sorts of, you know, some people record vertical, some people record landscape, some people use their cell phone, some people use a DSLR or a mirrorless camera. But at the same rate, when it comes to the end of the day, everybody has insane value on this list. And what's great about Fokina is that she uses her platform to give more value to other creators, kind of yeah. like what we're doing she here. She uses mobile too, which mobile, is what most yes. people use. Yes. And no one's making tutorials. No. So. And, and it, it's ridiculous how powerful the message can be and how, you know, if you make good content and you put the work in ahead of time, the people will come. Everything else will solve itself. If you just put in the value ahead of time, everything else will solve itself. Who's next? Who's next? I would say, ooh, I would say Chantel. Chantel Simmons. Chantel. Her engagement Absolutely. also, like Pilpina, is way, way higher than mine, first of all, but awesome creator, constantly creating, constantly bringing value. Um, bringing value in, in her own brand, and I think she's that- super bubbly, super Pal personal. Pilpina's brand is the value, yep. but, but Chantel made- It's her. <laughs> you know, kind of reverse. It, it, it sounds so weird, but, but like, she just started business recently. She's done all these things and just the evolution of content that you see from her, but it's still her. It's still her brand, still her community, still her value. And her value is so high that when she does all these amazing things, like starting a business, it's so easy for her to be successful because the message is there, the value is there. It's always, you know, in, in this case, I think for her to do the same of just, you know, cell phone, here's my face, here's here's me, is the right thing to do. She's because, super relatable. Right, and that's and, what, and that's what that is, in some sense her value and that's not a bad thing so like you don't have to be top of the line buying eight thousand dollar cameras you don't have to be doing all these specific things if you're you and you're positive you're bubbly you're happy you're whatever it is that you are authentic authentic Which genuine Which she is. you will find success alan gannett alan alan gannett has I think around 56,000 followers. He interviewed, first of all, he interviewed Kobe Bryant, which is like my hero, but he interviews amazing, huge. amazing entrepreneurs, creatives, minds, and just poses a question. 
super, super niche question, and it's super short, yeah. super valuable. And, and when I first saw Alan's work, I thought immediately of Tim Ferriss, and, and I don't like making comparisons to other people from other people, but it, it's a great, in this sense, a positive point, because you're able to provide such a high value in such a short period of time. You know, a lot of people don't want to listen to a full podcast, a lot of people don't want to listen to, you know, longer form content. Alan brings it to you in real quick format. It's incredibly high end influential people that already in themselves bring a ton of value and he knows how to bring even more value out of that conversation and it, it just provides such a great place for really inspiring Agreed, content. Man. I would say another thing, another great thing about him is not just creating video content, but we still mention him as a top. And that's just it. You know, he's he written does, a book, he's done blogs, right, articles right. and statuses all the time like dude is a badass but yeah we're here talking about his video content you know <laughs> exactly. and that's that's just exactly. it you can come from other walks of life doing other medias and still kill it on video and and whether you come from video to do other things or from other things to do video you can find those bridges to then find yourself growing in so many different ways exactly man i'm just going to mention a few extras that provide really high quality content khalil and Michael Hansen both provide great quality content. More maybe for YouTube. Why is that worth mentioning? Why is that worth mentioning? I think it's worth mentioning because we're talking about people that have good messages, and I'm one personally to want to bring value to the people that have maybe just their iPhone and, and creating the best with what they have. But if you have the kind of quality or the kind of equipment that maybe a Khalil or a Michael does, yep. you can still create amazing content. And I think that that's a really valuable point because you know, if you want to really take your videos to the next step and you want to get a new camera and you want to really advance your quality of your content from already, you know, you having a great message, these are people to look toward for graphic design and, and how they flow their videos and how they transition from one scene to the next because it's always different and it's always effective. And I think that they do it very well in terms of bringing the viewer from one space to the next in a very visually appealing way, which for, especially on, on the YouTube scene, is a very positive way to do it and, and once that comes to LinkedIn and once we really refine that sense of it on LinkedIn like myself coming from YouTube and others like these I agree, you know like Leo and, and making YouTube great content all we have to do is really condense that down and it's I That's mean, it's future. already great That's LinkedIn future. content, but if we Michael condense that down, a lot of storytelling. it will be incredibly high value yep. on LinkedIn. I agree, man. It's a future. I love what Mike Mike does. Yeah. B-roll, storytelling, oh, yeah. and Khalil's more vlog style, yep. but I'd love yep. to see him evolve. Yep. Absolutely. So I'm geeked, dude. Absolutely. It's going to be really, really positive. Lastly, Amy. Yes. Oh, Amy is a badass. Amy, crazy, crazy, ridiculous engagement. I think just like Pelpina, but yep. massive... 20,000 followers? Is that right? 20, is, is 50, that right? followers? Maybe. Maybe. Either way, <laughs> way more way, than consistent. both of us combined, so. <laughs> Super consistent. She's bringing value. Value. Tons of value. Just go watch her Tons stuff. Tons of value. Please. Consistency, value. And really, you know, to, to summarize, all of these careers that we mentioned today are just the, the tip of the iceberg, but all of them, the, the final story is value. Every one of these careers brings incredibly high value, incredibly high viewability. You know, you want to come to a video, watch it, and then leave feeling inspired. And these and are all people that, that are consistently they're inspired. They're showing up, and they're know, there, and, and they're ready. And they're always providing good value, good high value, great content. And, and really, we think that those are people that, if you want to start LinkedIn video yourself, which we highly suggest, these are people that you can start to look for in terms of finding out you know, they're all people that are different types of careers yep. that we've mentioned today. And, and you can look at these examples and see where you fit. Are you more of a Goldie? Do you have a very visual brand? Or are you more of a Khalil where you have a very creative brand? You know, you can find your different avenues and your different roads and really apply it to your work. So thank you guys so much for watching our first episode of Q and Dids. Q and Dids, man. Q and Dids. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you guys think of these creators. Let us know what you guys think of LinkedIn video in general. We'll be talking about more LinkedIn topics in future weeks of this uh, series. Series? We're making a series, you know. I'm geeked. So we're geeked. We hope that you're just as geeked. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.